Hello everyone, this is HGJ Halloween, and today I am back with another video because Spirit Halloween is in the process of releasing their entire lineup for 2017. Now this is of course very exciting for all of us haunters, but it's also slightly sad because this means there will no longer be any sneak peeks because the rest of the props they're just throwing right on the website, so there's not going to be any actual video sneak peeks anymore. So don't run over to that dislike button. These are not leaks. If you go to Spirit Halloween's website, all of these props are there. They're not completely finished. They don't have the videos yet on the website. They don't have the pictures with the background yet. It's just them in a white background. But all of them are there. We're only missing one, and I will get to that at the end of the video. So it's going to be a little bit hard for me to judge if I like or dislike these props or if I think they're worth the money because there is no videos on them. So it's hard to tell what their animation actually is. But the first one I'm going to talk about is the Hanging Hell Fiend. Yes, this is HHF. If you've seen that on any live streams and not known what the hell it is, this is HHF. The reason I'm starting with the, this one is because it's been up on Spencer's website, um, it was on Spirit Halloween's website, if you searched it, it's been up and around, going around for a day or so now. So this is obviously a hanging prop, because hanging is in the name. It's some skeleton dude with this black cloak outfit. It looks like his eyes light up green. He probably does some other things, probably has some sayings, maybe moves up and down or something. I'm not really sure. Like I said, there's no videos on it, but this is $150. Now, I have a feeling that once we see the video of what it actually does, it's going to be overpriced. It doesn't really look like it has much to it. It doesn't have much of a body or anything. It just has this cloth. So I don't really see what is worth $150, and I doubt that it's going to have any crazy animation that's going to make it worth it, but maybe. So this is the Hanging Hell Fiend, and it's most likely going into be the front theme. It definitely won't be going into the back theme, so let's go ahead and talk about the next prop. So this prop is the two and a half foot tricycle doll. So this is TD, if any of you have seen that going around, and it is $130. Now this prop is confirmed in the front theme this year. There has been pictures released of the front theme that do not really show you entirely what it is, which is why I still cannot say entirely what it is. But in those pictures, you can actually see this prop set up inside the theme. So of course, I'm not really sure what this girl does. It probably doesn't move around on the tricycle at least I don't think so um, because at first when I saw it I was like oh this is a cool remake of the roaming dolls um, I didn't think the tricycle moves but I thought it just looked kind of cool maybe it had some creepy phrases but then I saw the price tag of $130 which the roaming dolls are like $80 so maybe the tricycle does move around and if the tricycle doesn't move around then this is extremely overpriced I mean they priced it at a regular life-size full animatronic price and all it is is this little doll so I won't be picking her up but let's go ahead and talk about the next prop so the next prop is deadly roots for $200 this is DR if you've also seen that acronym and this one is obviously going to be going into the front theme because the front theme has trees it has sort of a forest atmosphere so it's 100% probably going to be in the front theme um, and I have a feeling this one its animation is going to be almost exactly the same as the Haunted Tree, which is also $200. It has a very similar look, how it has the cloth as the trunk, but then it also has a face that looks more realistic. It does, light, it eyes, it eyes, its eyes light up green, whereas the other ones light up red, so that's a difference, but I have a feeling that it's going to be a similar motion where it just kind of rocks back and forth and has some spooky phrases. So, this is a cool one. I don't have a place for it in my display, but I'm excited to see this one in stores. So this next one is a one that people have talked about a lot. I'm sure you've seen the acronym for it. It is the Area 31, the six foot Area 31 Fogging Alien Capsule. Yes, this is FAC. I've seen a lot of YouTubers say FAC in their um, live streams and videos. So I'm sure you guys have been wondering what this one is, but this is a six foot alien inside a, a capsule that fogs. 
So like I said, this is $180, which to me seems pretty worth it because you have to envision a six foot tall capsule. This thing isn't small. It's not like the cryo chamber corpse, which is going to end up being really small when we see it in person. This one's pretty big and it'll be even more worth it if the alien moves. I don't think it will. I have a feeling it's going to be pretty much static, except you can add the fog machine attachment, which makes it a little bit less worth it because the fog machines are never included. They're always sold separately. So it's a little bit of a scam there but I'm definitely excited to see this one in the back theme now guys I cannot tell you exactly what the back theme is like I've said a thousand times but look at the name of this prop and you might be able to figure it out it's not that difficult just look at the name of the prop I can't say it directly but it's basically right in front of your face so the next one is one that hasn't really been talked about that much this is the 4.9 foot screeching bat for 70 bucks now, $70 does seem a bit overpriced. When they're saying 4.9 foot, I'm envisioning its width being 4.9 feet. If it's 4.9 feet tall, that's a giant bat. So that would be pretty worth it. But this is probably just going to be a hanging bat that makes some noises. Not one that everyone's going to be raving about. But this is going to be most likely in the front theme. And I'm excited to see how they incorporate it in the store. So the last one that has also gotten a lot of attention is the 15-inch Campfire Zombie. This is CZ, and it is $90. Now, there is only one picture of this thing, and of course, there is no video like the other ones, and it's a little bit different than the other ones because you actually have to search it up, and you have to search the name perfectly. You can't miss any letters or anything. If you do search up Campfire Zombie perfectly, it will come right up, but you cannot find it on the animatronics page, so it's not quite fully on the site yet but you don't have to worry about that because the links to all of them will be in the description but this one I just love the detail on I have to say this is the most perfectly detailed prop I think we've seen this year and in previous years as well um, compared to the smoldering zombie I think it just has so much more detail in the face it looks so much more realistic like a zombie that's being burnt in a campfire it would be perfect for someone that has to do some display at a campsite or something like that or if they wanted to go for a campsite display this would be the best thing to get this season so at first glance, this seems like a static prop that just fogs, right? But um, I'm wondering, with the price tag of $90, maybe the head moves, maybe the fog machine is included? I don't know, but it seems a little bit expensive if it's just a static prop with no fog machine. So this prop will definitely be going in the front theme. No, the front theme is not a cabin or a campsite. That is something that people thought was confirmed because of the campfire zombie, but it's not true. It's not going to be a campsite, but it will probably be able to be worked into the front theme anyways. So anyways, guys, that's all I've got to say for this video. I hope you enjoyed my opinions on all of the props that they did not do sneak peeks for. The links to all of them will be in the description, but they actually are missing one prop, like I said in the beginning of this video, and that is SS, which I'm going to come out and say is Sawing Sally. They will most likely be releasing her um, today because Deadly Roots actually was released recently. It was later than the other ones, so it will probably be coming out today, and I don't think that one is going to be in stores this year and she is the the reason I know that she's missing is because there is one number for the links that is missing and that is 145166 that is the only one we are still missing and if you do search spirithalloween.com slash products slash 145166.uts, it takes you to a page that says we can't find what you're looking for or whatever however the URL does relabel itself when you look back at your suggested URLs or recents. It does relabel itself as Sawing Sally. So I may end up making a video on her if she's cool, if she's worth it. But go ahead and subscribe for Limb Ripper coming pretty soon. Hopefully on Saturday that video will be out. Thank you all so much for watching and I will see you guys next time.